thing. Let's see here. First question was, why keep, why the cookies keep popping up? I was talking about this with a lot of different people, and everything I say on the phone ends up popping up on on my Facebook news feed. It's like really crazy. So I want to talk about retargeting because there's so many people out there that ask me about when should I start running Facebook ads or I'm going to run some ads because I'm going to start reaching a bigger audience. And my answer is always don't start running Facebook ads until you've actually got like some training on running Facebook ads. I mean, everyone out there likes to keep their money and hold on to their money and make sure that their money gets stretched as far as it can go, right? I do. I like when my money goes as far as it can go. So there's no reason for you to start running Facebook ads if you have no idea how to run Facebook ads. Okay? I spent tons of money. I've got. Uh, I don't have a big ad budget, but I spent a ton of money on Facebook ads my first year. Okay, and it got me some engagement. It got me, a, you know, a pretty decent audience. But it was understanding why you run Facebook ads. Um, most people. And I think more people need to hear this. So if you want to share this, there's a little guy down there in the comment section. Always feel free to share this, but I'm going to invite some more people. Because I feel like more people need to hear this. So I'm going to invite some peeps. Is that, is that what the kids say? Inviting peeps is what you do? All right, so most people are running ads so they can get a return on their investment of the ad. So what they want is if they're going to spend $100 on an ad, well, they want to make sure that they get their money back, right? Most people just want to make sure they can get their money back. And I was the same way. So when I had to switch things up when it came to running Facebook ads was instead of trying to get my money back, I had to just, I wasn't really trying to make money. It was my, my intention for running Facebook ads was to run more Facebook ads. Okay, so if I was spending $20 a week on a particular ad or ad set, then the whole goal was to make money with those ad sets so I could spend $30 a week or $40 a week. The whole goal isn't to really, you know, max out and like, you know, close people right up on the front. What's up to you? The whole goal is to increase your audience, to increase your reach so you can actually create a bigger impact. Okay. So if you create that audience, that's the whole point. So I think most people just have a, a misconstruction of like, what their ads are supposed to be about and they're not reaching their target audience they're not really doing the things that uh, are going to uh, create a lot of leads which leads turn into conversions so why is that title why did i title it cookies why did i title it cookies because every time i talk about cookies freaking keyboard else pop up in my news feed so if anyone knows mark Bird, i'm tired i don't I, I i don't want to get ads for cookies okay i just want cookies okay you don't have to put it in front of me every day i just i just like cookies Okay, I, I, don't, I don't need to see them on my Facebook profile in order to go buy keyboard L cookies. I don't even like keyboard cookies. So you're not even targeting the right person. You're targeting someone that likes, I like great American cookies. So if you hear that, odds are it's going to show up in my news feed right after this video. But if you hear that, I like great American cookies, all right, and specialty Oreos. That's what I like. Okay, so if you want to target me, target me for Oreos and great American cookies, okay. I, I, I don't want Keebler cookies. I don't care for Keebler. I don't even like those damn elves. They freak me out. All right? How can I trust? I'm not going to eat cookies from a fucking elf. Okay? I don't trust them. All right? I want my cookies made by humans. Humans make better cookies. Elves don't make good cookies. Elves steal stuff from you. Elves steal socks. Uh, what do they else do they steal? Uh, tops to Tupperwares. Okay? These are the things that elves go around and stealing. Okay? I'm not going to trust you with cookies. That's, what, that's my take on that. Rick. Not even done. Not even done. Okay? But the whole point is, the whole point is, <laughs> um, understand what's going on in your news feed. Okay? So if you see ads pop up, understand, like, hey, click that button and say, hey, why am I seeing this ad? Click that button that says, um, who targeted you, right? Click that button and say, hide this ad. If it's not relevant to what you want, your news feed can only hold so much. So make sure that your news feed is relevant. Uh, make sure that the things that are popping up in your news feed, the people that are popping up in your news feed um, are beneficial and are relevant to you because that's what you want. Okay? You don't want you don't want keyboard cookies popping up. Mike French. Uh, no, I'm not going to live the lead, but if I have to go and I can make money, I'll be there. Mike, if you're watching this, you should be here. It's ironic because he's in he's in World Ventures. <laughs> 
Mike, you should be here on my live feed. You should be here, Mike. But I don't know. Maybe we'll hook up in Atlanta. I don't know. Text me when I'm not doing this. Anyway, pay attention to what's in your news feed, people. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want those damn things stealing my socks. I lock my socks up. High shelf so gnomes can't get to them. Keyboards can't get to them. The next question was, who knows what it is? I don't know. I'll go look. What was my next question? I gotta look. I didn't write this down. How do you pick the right coach? That's a that's a big question. That's a big one. Okay. Um, I've said this like six times probably this week, but when Adam Chandler this weekend said that he had a coach for everything in his life, that like that like made me just. I was just like, yes, yes. I'm gonna go out and hire a coach. I actually was just talking to um, one of my first coaches and gonna get back with her and start working with her again. Now I just hired a coach. And uh, we're going through a lot of stuff, and he's taught me a lot. But I feel like he's a coach that's helping me coach people. Um, I really, really want to take my uh, my funnels to another level, my my ads to another level. So I wanted to go look for another person to help with that. So there's not there's there's no there's no rule that says, hey, you've got a coach. You can only have one coach. What I look for when it comes to when I'm choosing people. Uh, for coaches, I'm looking for. I'm looking. I, I usually go off of a good vibe. I usually go off a of vibe that I can say, you know, this person, him and I are going to work together. Her and I are going to work well together. Um, I usually look around at the at not just their results because there's a lot of people out there, guys, that can get results. Okay? there's a lot of good marketers. Um, there's you know coaches for everything, um, but they can all they can all go get results. But can they get you results? And that's the big thing. I've had coaches where. They're coaches, but they weren't good coaches for me. One of the first coaching programs I went through, the first two weeks, that coach just wasn't for me. I got reassigned to a new coach, and it exploded my business, okay? So make sure that you have a good vibe first. I know, like, the person that asked me that question, probably not the answer that you wanted to hear, where you're just saying, hey, I just go off my gut feeling, bro. I just, you know, hey, just you know, random picking coaches, right? You take, take my money. But I go off a good vibe. Uh, can this person not only show me a good way, but can they grow me? Can they get me on a path to hold me accountable? And a good coach isn't just going to tell you what to do because chances are, guys, you already know exactly what to do. Guess what? Newsflash, to grow your business, you got to talk to people, right? you got to do something that's called talk to people. Now, there's certain things that can help you talk to more people, right? There's certain things to help you. But a good coach, if you want a good coach, a good coach is – is not going to leave you the same. That's you look for a person that's not going to leave you where you are today, because that's exactly where you don't want to be. I've had people come to me and they're like, "Oh, Ryan, oh, you've changed. <laughs> you've changed, sir. You're fucking right. I changed. I don't want to stay the same. Who wants to stay the same? <laughs> no, no shot. I'm not going to stay the same. You should be mad at yourself for not changing." All right, I want somebody to help me take me to the next level. Can I get a man, YouTubers? Can I get some love maybe in, in the future? Livers, yeah, need that. Bring it. Drop those hearts. I'll, I'll put them in a the pocket. Look, I think this shirt has a pocket right here. If, um, if it's mirrored, then you can just put hearts in the pocket. I won't be mad. Right, but hey, I want somebody that's not afraid to tell me that I need to push it a little bit. Right, because I know. Guess what? Your subconscious mind is there to keep you safe. Okay, it's there to keep you safe. As soon as you get out that comfort zone, your your mind says, "Uh, danger, danger! Get the back to your comfort zone. We might die out here." That's what it says. Your coach says, "Guess what? I've seen it. I've been there. I pushed it. You won't die. Trust me." Okay. Uh, next big thing is just look around at the people around them. Look around at their circle. Are is their circle growing? Are they getting results? Because I've seen a lot of people that say they're coaches, they're life coaches. Uh, newsflash: Just because you have life doesn't mean you can be a life coach. Ooh, right? Just because you're breathing doesn't give you the right to be a life coach. Here's the deal: You can go get your certification to be a life coach in less than 12 hours. Okay? Yeah. Whoop de do. Right? Yeah, so that's how I choose coaches. I would highly recommend that you get a coach. I cannot tell you what it would do for your life and your business. Get a coach. 
if you are in a place where you are growing a team and you or you want to grow a team and guess what the people on your team they're going to need coaching right people you're going to find people at rock flipping bottom they need to be coached up okay chances are you may not be right to coach them yet okay but i was in a leadership convention uh maybe in may it was in may i don't know why i just looked up at the sky to look for my answer but it was in may there's all the answers are there all the answers are there i don't know if I'm just right on my ceiling or whatever. Anyway, <laughs> off topic. Uh, so I was at this leadership convention in May, and um, ironically, the guy comes up to me. It has nothing to do with, like, online marketing, network marketing. It's just about leadership and, like, coaching. So I'm sitting in this little coaching thing, and the guy's like, do you coach? Do you Are you in network marketing? And I said, dude, how'd you know? And he goes, I could, just, I could feel it. And I was like, oh, are my fangs showing? I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and um, he goes, You've got to you've got to get to a place where you're coaching more coaches. Okay, if you want to duplicate in your business, you've got to get to a place where you're coaching more coaches. The best way to highly develop coaches is to go through a coaching program yourself. Get coached yourself, and don't just be coached. Don't be coached in a way that you're like, okay, I've got I hired a coach, and this person's going to coach me to get results. No, 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 no. Okay. You've got to come from the angle, from the perspective of I'm getting coached so I can coach more coaches. Okay. Is that making sense? Yeah, he gets it. He gets it. That's making a lot of damn sense. Man, you're so smart. Oh, <laughs> oh, B.A., you're crazy. No, I'm serious. You're the best. Stop it. <laughs> oh, my God. He's so <laughs> This guy. You think I you, you think I pay him? Ah, oh man, hey, you gotta have good friends, and I tell you guys, this one he's a he's a keeper, he's a keeper. Anyway, so that's the two questions, and it's free coaching Friday. So, people, what do you got for me? I'll answer your questions. I'll bring it to you. Say something. Answer your questions. Type them in the comment section. Type them. Type them right now. If you type your questions in the comment section, just do me a quick favor. If you do ask a question, um, click the share button as soon as you ask your question. Um, that way, if there's another person out there, maybe in your circle, maybe someone else's circle, that happen to have the same question, uh, they get a good answer for the question as well. We don't want to um, we don't want to hog any value, right? We want what we give out, we get back, right? And tenfold so if you got questions what we got here we got 15 minutes left so we can have a blast for 15 minutes we can just we can just we can just do it you know we can just do whatever we want we got 15 minutes left have you guys been getting some value so far yes no maybe let me know maybe throw like a, a thumbs up or maybe like maybe maybe I made you cry I don't know let me know because if I made you cry or made you angry I need to know I need to say Oh no! I need to delete that person for making them angry and, and send you the Facebook uh, eviction notice. I haven't used that in a while. I haven't been evicting. I've been adding. I've been accepting friend requests. So um, yeah, that's where we are right now. I've been I have accepted a friend request. Here, I'll go accept some now. This is gonna be fun. I haven't done this in a while. So let's accept some friend. Re oh, someone got a question. I'll do that later. She interrupted me. I was going to go accept some friend requests. Uh, what if you meet someone who wants to work with you, but you don't want to work with them? Then you need to cut them. Guess what? You don't have to work with them. <coughs> Tell them you don't want to work with them. Um, guess what? You need to set, set up your business like an interview process. Hey, uh, sorry, but you didn't qualify this go around. These are the things that I, these are the things that are required of you to join my team. Okay, in order for you to work with me, you've got to bring it up to here. Okay, now if you want to come back to me in three months and let me know if, if, you, if you say, Hey, look, I, I made those changes, I made those switches, then hey, we're, I, I'd be glad to work with you in the future if you can get to that point. Right? It's an interview. I'm not, I'm not, this isn't something that I'm, I, I want everybody. Right? We've got, you can even send them a letter. I know um, uh, one of my old mentors used to actually send people. An email and he would say hey sorry but you didn't flip and qualify okay um, maybe next time 
right? Let them know. Don't be a dick about it, but you know, just let them know, like, hey, this is this is this is what's required to join our team. Um, it's perfectly fine if you can come back to me in 90 days and let me know. We can we can always reevaluate. Um, ooh, James, bringing up the Facebook ad questions. Um, you don't have to run Facebook Insight. You can have a. Uh, what I like to do is I like to run. I like to see what my ad's going to look like before I run the ad. Um, I have a really, really good training on that. Absolutely free. Um, James, if you're, a pre, if you're a serious marketer and you can take an hour and a half, dude, I got this free training from Jesse Jameson, absolute Facebook king man. He'll run you through the power editor. He'll run you through the campaigns. He'll run you through how to run your ad sets, what you should do first, absolutely everything. I do everything off of that, off of that training, James. So if you want that, dude, just hit me up in my inbox. I actually, ironically, was supposed to post that up in the uh, up top, up, up here in this area up there where my answers are, uh, my ceiling. But, um, dude, hit me up. I'll give you that free training. It's an hour and 37 minutes, jam-packed full of stuff. It'll blow your face off. You'll probably want to put, like, a tarp down maybe, like, just to make sure, like, there's no brain juices. That is disgusting if you haven't seen it. I was – Every oh, cross, cross, cross. But um, I run. I, I actually do my testing on a on another fan page. That way, I can see how they're going to look first, and then I'm going to run the ad. So um, I don't. You don't have to do um, the Facebook insights first, uh, especially like if you if you run that ad or something similar to it before. Uh, but if you want to test it out, dude, just pop it on another page that you're an admin of. Just kind of like a test page. And uh, and run that ad. It's just a um, it's a good way to do it. Uh, but I, I I do a lot of testing, man. And and honestly, dude, when I was first starting to run ads, my coaches would always tell me, "Hey, man, you just gotta like testing is the best thing to do." So I mean, if it works for you, it works for you. You gotta go out there and test it. Uh, that's the best thing to do. And uh, and yeah, but I'd love to if you want that training, dude. Just just uh, let me know, man. And I'll hook it up. Let's see, we got. Ten more minutes left. That's some good questions, guys. Good questions. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, I didn't miss anything, did I? No. No, because Ryan doesn't miss anything. Because I have a honey badger on my shoulder that's looking for things. He looks for questions. He's like, you didn't miss anything. <laughs> that's what he is. He's a honey badger spy. All right. Zach just joined us. Hashtag Zach Facts. Zach shot. <laughs> We've got questions. I've got answers. I've got time. If not, I'll go to Chipotle. Doesn't matter to me. If you don't, hey, if you don't ask questions, I'm perfectly fine with going to Chipotle. I've got chip of tea. I've got Chiptopia points. Okay, that are ready to get uh, Chiptopia. Okay, so I'm perfectly fine with not answering questions and going to Chiptopia. Okay, because it's Chipotle. You can't ever go wrong with Chipotle. Who's ever said, "Oh my God, I shouldn't have ate that Chipotle today." Zero people ever, except for probably people that work at most, which I got to stop saying names out loud. Or I just swear to God, I'm going to get sued. <laughs> so, oh, man. And Chipotle is owned by McDonald's, the richest people on the planet. So if you talk shit about Chipotle, they will show up at your house. McDonald's will burn down your house and they'll blow up your car. So... If you hey, if you can't say nothing, if you can't say something about Chipotle, don't say nothing at all. Anyway, we've gone on for like three minutes with no questions. Three, oh, then Sean comes up. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Sean says when building relationships with prospects. Oh crap! I can't read things. When building a relationship with prospects, how long do you wait to bring up your business opportunity? I actually don't bring up my business opportunity ever. Okay. I don't because my my Facebook wall my my wall is a gold mine. Okay, I built it. I've, there's so much value on my wall. All I've got to do is be. It's it's in how to win friends, right? If I'm super interested in you, the more interested I am in you, guess what? It's gonna make you get interested in me. And if my wall is set up correctly, if if the things about me or my page are set up correctly, then they'll go to my wall, they'll watch my stuff, and they'll come back to me and say, what do you do? And they'll say, I've got to get involved in what you're doing. 
Okay. Most people's walls suck ass. Okay. Sorry, mom, if you're watching, well, no, my mom's on the road. Happy birthday to my dad, by the way. Love you, dad. I know you don't have Facebook, but I love you. Just so everybody knows, I love my dad. He's 64 today. Best guy on the planet. Love him to death. Um, but I don't have to bring up, you shouldn't have to bring up your business opportunity. You should be so interested in other people and what they've got going on that they just have to go look at you. They have to say, like, God, this guy, this girl, I've got to find out what the fudge is going on. Like, i got to look. And then they're going to go look, and they're just going to get a value punch to the face, and they're going to come back to you and you say, uh, I didn't know you were going to hit me in the face with all that value. Why? Yeah. But if you got, like, <coughs> kittens and recipes and – cute little badger just dancing around on your Facebook, then what the hell are they going to ask you about? They're going to go say, oh, this person's a normal person. They like kittens and recipes and dancing badgers, right? But you can't just spam. If, if, you, if your Facebook page is like spam, no one wants to be sold, okay? So you've got to find that me it's about educating people. It's about being exciting and drawing their energy in. Hey, if you've got stuff, you know, uh, BOGO, free wraps, wrap my face in half. If you've got, buy my vacation because this is like last time deal. Join me, join me, join me. They're going to be like, uh, no. Mm -mm. That's like the horn dog walking into the bar and be like, ladies, what's up? Who wants to go to my room? And then they're going to run the other way because you're a creep. All right. Don't be a Facebook creep. Okay. Stop freaking people out. Be normal. Give value. Jesus, it's not that hard, you know. I, I you know, it's like if, there's probably some guys in there that are like, whatever. That's not me. <laughs> you don't knock it till you tried it. <laughs> you don't do that. Well, I rule. Back when, uh, never mind. I'm not gonna go there. Anyway, <laughs> six minutes left. Six minutes. I hope that answered the question. Whoever answered, Sean, hope that answered the question. You should never have to bring up your opportunity. Just be super interested. Be super engaging, man. Dude, just be interested in that person, and they'll they'll come to you, bro. It's called attraction marketing. Get there. Don't be a Facebook creep, Zach said. Nobody likes a Facebook creep, All right? Man, these Facebook girls just keep getting younger, and I just stay, I, they, they stay the same age, and I just keep, whatever. Everybody's seen that movie. Whatever. Oh, snap. Lisa Torres is here. Oh, Lisa Torres. Oh, Lisa. Lisa. Lisa Torres, Allen. Oh, the crowd goes crazy. And the crowd goes crazy. What's up, Lisa? Lisa, hey, everybody say a prayer for Lisa. She still can't get on Facebook Live. Facebook, chef, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Hey, somebody, somebody tell Mark to let Lisa on Facebook Live. We want it. We want Lisa. Say we want Lisa. We want Lisa. We want Lisa's live rants. I don't want Lisa's uh, recorded rants. I want them live. I want them raw. I want them now. I want them rants. Tell me what to do. Anyway, uh, let's see. Hey, four more minutes left. Four more minutes. We got, like, time for two more questions and headed to the weekend, right? And when the weekend comes, I don't do nothing. All right? We want Lisa. We want Lisa. Somebody say a prayer. Somebody send some energy up to Mark. <laughs> let him know. Say, we just want – let, let it go live. Let – let Lisa live. L3. That's what it is. Let Lisa live. We're going to do Lisa's, Lisa's live lives matter. Is that a thing? Is it, does that make sense? Lisa's, Lisa's live lives matter? That's, that's the thing. Hashtag that. Somebody hashtag that, and then we'll make it go viral, and, and it'll eventually get to Mark. So if we take it to space, maybe we can get it. Lisa goes live in space. 
And only one person's gonna get that. <laughs> oh, yo, so shit. All right, hey, we, we wait. Right, who's got a question? Anyway, it says, uh, oh, how do I know what questions to ask a coach when working with them? We, <laughs> um, you gotta understand, understand exactly what you want, all right? <clears throat> If you have a clear vision of what you want out of a coach, it's like, uh-oh, my phone drops. Think about this. I don't know. I, I'd be coming up with some dumbass metaphors sometimes, but, hey, this is the one that popped in my head now, okay? Think about going to a brand-new restaurant, okay, and the waiter comes up to you, and you, you kind of have an idea what you want to eat tonight, right? You have an idea of what you want to eat tonight, but you really don't know. Right, you said, mm, like I know what I, I know what I have a taste for, but like I don't know. Like we're here though, you know. Like I don't know what I want, but I'm hungry, you know. It's like it's whatever. So like, what's on the menu? So you're gonna ask that waiter or waitress about what's on the menu, but you kind of know what you want. So depending on you knowing what you want, you're gonna ask that waiter or waitress what's the best thing on the menu. You know how they cook it. What's it prepared in? What kind of oil do they use, right? If you know what you want, you'll ask the right questions, okay? But you gotta be clear with yourself first. You gotta be very definitive and very clear about the outcome that you want before you go into the coaching program or before you go look for a coach or before you hire somebody. You gotta know exactly what you want. You gotta ask that person those questions just as if they were gonna make you a meal, right? the meal that you're going to pay a good amount of money for that damn meal, right? So if you're going to Ruth Chris and you know you're going to drop a, a good Benjamin when you walk in there, right? It's not like going to fucking Chili's, okay? Like that shit ain't, no, that shit's real, okay? Matter of fact, I want some fucking lamb chops right now. I can go for some lamb chops. Anybody else want some lamb chops? I'm hungry. I ain't going to Chipotle. I'm going to Ruth's. I'm going to give me some lamb chops. But anyway, before I get off topic, <laughs> or I've already gotten off topic, you'll, you'll find the questions. Set the intention. That's big. Set your intention. So many people don't set the intention about what they really want. They're just like, oh, hey, everybody else is doing coaching. Shit, man, as well do some coaching too. Set your intention and be so clear with yourself first. And then you'll, the questions will come. The right questions will come, I promise. But you can't worry about it, okay? If you set the intention, it's just like the universe works with the give and take. You know, I was reading this morning in a book that I read with, with words, and um, the book said the law of attraction works. As soon as you give, right, if you worry about the return that you're going to get, if you worry about the return that you're going to get, it won't come. Okay, but when you give and you sow, the law of attraction is a law. So the reaping has to happen. Okay, so if you set the intention on giving, okay, you're gonna get, and you don't have to worry about it because it's a law. So it, it's a it's like the law of intention. You set the intention, you don't have to worry about the questions that you're gonna ask. You don't have to worry about all that stuff because it's just gonna come, right? Because it's law. If you haven't listened to that Yo Gotti song, uh, that's Law, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll play it real quick just so you guys can hear it. Uh, it's got some profanity. Is everybody okay with that? It's got profanity. Maybe I'll just get the, the um, I'll, do the, I'll do the light version. Let's do uh, Law. And uh, we'll, we'll not do explicit. There we go. There's one right here. This is not explicit, so I didn't do it. And I don't know if it's going to play. It's all cut out. That's law. I don't like the edited version. Have a good weekend, everybody. Lunch money, we're out, all right? Have a good weekend. If you want recorded versions of Lunch Money off of my YouTube, make sure you subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Do something good this weekend. Make people feel good. Do something hot. All right? We out of here. And that's law.
All right, man, we're out of here. We are out of here, my friends. Make sure you tune in to Lunch Money next week, <coughs> Monday through Friday, 1230 Eastern. Bring your questions. All right. Go out there and make a difference in the world today. Make somebody feel good. Go out there and make some money, all right? I'll hear that at you. I'll hear that you. I'll holla, 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 holla. This button doesn't work. It's against the law. YouTubers, click the link below if you want to get access to some coaching. You want to see what five things that top earners are doing online if they're making six figures online. You will click that link below. Hop over to RyanMcMorris.com and you will get tons of free value. I'll see you next week, my friends.